this semester began like any other. I am a third year global student and I decided to spend the semester in Australia. And I got here and everything seemed normal. Um, there was some talk about COVID-19 on mainland China, but it didn't really seem to become a big problem until a couple weeks into the semester. And the China cohort that was in Taiwan for the pre-semester trip ended up having to leave Taiwan and not begin their semester on mainland. The staff and faculty, both in the New York office as well as in China, all kind of got together and assessed the situation and realized that the students that were in Taiwan couldn't go to mainland China and needed to move to somewhere else. So they decided to give them the option to either go home and study from there, go to Brooklyn or Costa Rica or Italy, or come and join our cohort here in Australia and study with us for the rest of the semester. Um, I was one of the students that chose to come to Australia this semester, and about a month in, we had the China kids come. They were evacuated. Um, and it kind of changed the way our classes worked, but our teachers were really great and really flexible. Um, and so we were able to kind of mesh together as if they had always been here. Um, we heard the news of Italy, and we were kind of starting to worry that this was going to be something bigger than everyone thought it was going to be. Um, they got sent back to Brooklyn, and now it's just us in the Costa Rica Center. And it's been really challenging having to see some of my friends go home, um, seeing the panic at home, and it's been really difficult to understand what's going on in the world while also focusing on our studies. And LIU and Global is working to the best of their ability to make this all work for us. Just in the last week or so, things have started to pick up in the United States, and a lot of people are being sent home from other study abroad locations. So the Italy Center had to close because of the situation in Italy, and all of their students had to go back to Brooklyn and take the rest of their semester online. And then in the last few days, the Costa Rica and Australia Center has been talking about the possibilities of our centers closing for the semester as well. And they've given the students the option to voluntarily go home and continue the semester online. It's been a hard decision and a hard process because so much of our school is experiential and in person and the majority of the learning and really the bulk of the impactful learning happens in the field. And so to decide to have to do that online, it's gonna be a really difficult adjustment. Our professors have been pretty accommodating with you know, just all the craziness that's going on in each of our lives right now. So it's been really nice that they're able to accommodate to that and make sure that we're all staying okay like emotionally and socially as well. They're staying really up to date with what's happening, you know, in the world with the pandemic. And every day they check the news and they inform us on the current status of the virus. And we also have a health and safety coordinator who travels with us and she's able to Give us the tips we need to stay healthy. We're constantly having to reevaluate and be updated on the safety of each country that we go to and making sure that it's a comfortable, safe place that has the capacity for productive learning and productive academic development. Luckily, our global education has taught us to be resilient in a lot of different ways. And we've always known that something like this was a possibility with our choice of study. Um, but it is crazy that it's actually happening now, and it's hard to navigate what the right choice is. This school has taught us so much about how to deal with global issues and how to address global issues. And being able to be at the forefront of something so large has been really interesting and impactful. This situation has really forced us global students to think critically about the interconnectedness of our world and how our actions might affect other people all the way across the globe. So we've had to really put into action all of the things that we've been learning about for the last three years. And we've had to really critically consider the way that what we do might affect other people those that maybe don't share the same nationality as us, aren't 
fellow students, family, or friends maybe come from the other side of the world and still how we deal with a situation like this could drastically impact their lives. So it's been really interesting trying to see how the rest of the world deals with it as well as just our school in itself. And it's been difficult but really heartwarming to see the way that our global community has come together really well to make sure that all of us are healthy, safe, and getting the education that we need.